Hello everyone, today we're gonna to talk about Facebook retargeting. Um, this video is gonna be used in a few places, so um, you might be watching this on YouTube, you might be watching this in one of my courses. Um, it's pretty universal, and so I'll be using it in quite a few places. Um, but Facebook retargeting is basically a no-brainer. Every business on the planet should be using it, okay? If your audience uses Facebook, which I, I believe pretty much every business in the planet, um, their audience does do that, then you need to be doing this retargeting. And retargeting, what it is, is basically anyone that's come to your site, you can identify certain pages on your site, and you can run Facebook ads to the people that made it to those pages, right? So for example, let's say you have a buyer, and that person clicks on your ad, and they go to your landing page. Okay, and they go to your landing page, they fill out their email maybe, and then they go to the next page, and you offer them a product. And uh, let's say they fill out their information and they get to the checkout page. That's the page where they need to click submit, buy now, right? And then they click the X and they leave. Okay, so that person was clearly super interested. They were almost there, and then they click the X and left. And we don't really know why, right? They could have, maybe their phone died, maybe their phone ran out of um, juice, maybe they didn't have their credit card on them. Um, there's really, there's hundreds of reasons that someone could have left at that point and still been interested in your product, okay? But they're not gonna remember, right? They left, they, they they walked off, they started doing other things and they forgot about it. And so a significant amount of people that come to your these pages on your site are really interested in your product and just for whatever reason at the time, they don't purchase or they don't fill out their email um, or they don't sign up for whatever you're offering. And so it's very, very important that the next time they get on Facebook, they see you again and it reminds them and maybe they have more time right then and they sign up. Um, <clears throat> And so you, you want this on all pages, right? If they get if you have a sales funnel, which hopefully you do, um, if they get to that first page and they never make it to the second page, it means they never put in their email. So you want to retarget those people with something like, hey, you never got your free uh, uh, case study or your free whatever it is, right? Your free report or your free mini course. You never got that. Um, I know that because you never made it to the thank you page or the next page in the funnel. And so... <clears throat> then you can you can significantly improve the amount of the sales you get and the amount of opt-ins you get if you're an affiliate marketer or whatever it is you can significantly improve this um and i should note if you're an affiliate marketer um it's a little tougher because you only have control over your own pages you can't identify whether or not the uh they went to the product page that you're an affiliate with and continued from there um, but you can make sure they at least entered their email so i'm going to use a simple funnel this is click funnels um i'm going to use a very very simple funnel and kind of show you what I'm talking about here, okay? So this funnel, the first page looks like this. Bombshell report reveals how more than 100 online millionaires are quietly making over 80,000 a month without lifting a finger. They click send me a report and it pulls up there, where should we send your free training, right? So as soon as they enter in that email, it's going to take them to the next page in the funnel. Okay, and you see that the domain changed right here. There's a new page in the funnel. And so now, <clears throat> I can identify people using Facebook that were on that first page but never made it to this page, which means they didn't enter their email, and I can retarget them again, okay? So I'm gonna go through the steps right now. Um, it, it's really, really easy. It's intimidating at first, and people don't do it because they're just nervous. It's really not that hard, okay? So the first thing you need is you need what's called a pixel. You need a little piece of code that Facebook gives you, and that code goes on every single page of your, of your funnel or your website or whatever it is you're using. And that way, Facebook, uh, knows what pages people have made it to, right? They can identify what in each page that different Facebook users have made it to. And so I'm going to show you how to do that in ClickFunnels. If you're, if you're using other websites and things like that, you'll have to Google it. It's pretty easy. Um, but in ClickFunnels, it's very, very easy. So you should definitely be using ClickFunnels. Um, as always, there's links either above or below to, to the products that I'm recommending here. Um, so we're going to go into our Facebook Ads Manager. So you'll need to sign up for a Facebook Ads Manager account. Really easy to do. Just Google it. Um, and once you're in there, you're going to click this, uh, they call it the hamburger right there, and it, it'll either be right here or you'll have to click all tools and it'll give you all the tools here. And what you're going to go to is pixels, okay? And it's going to give you a pixel, which is that snippet of code that I'm telling you about. So let's get our pixel or our snippet of code. Okay. And what, the way it works is you need to have one piece of code that goes on all your pages. And that's your standard piece of code, your standard pixel. And then you need a, a different piece of code, um, typically, that identifies what each page is about. So, that, hey, this page is a lead page. This page is a purchase page that you're buying. You know, this page, I'm trying to get them to do this. And that helps Facebook know things. But we're going to just simplify it here and just put the pixel, the general pixel, on each page. Um, okay, hold on, I've got a warning here. Um, so I'm going to select that pixel, which is my only pixel. 
Okay, and you can see it's giving me different different activity for that pixel. So it's saying it these are all the times that the pixel was triggered um, today, 87 times. Okay. I'm going to click setup. You're going to have a little different process. It'll probably be a lot easier for you, but eventually you'll get to this. And it's going to say, do you want to use an integration? Do you want to manually install it? And you're going to be scared and be like, manually install it? We want to manually install it because it's just that easy, okay? Um, so this is the code right here. You're going to click it. It's going to copy it. That's the entire pixel code that you need, okay? Now in ClickFunnels, all you're going to do is go to your funnel settings here. And this would need to go in your header on a WordPress site or, uh, or another website. It'll need to go in the head of the site. And you can see ClickFunnels makes it really easy. Head tracking code. Boom, I pasted it right here. Okay. And now I'm going to save and update settings. Okay. So now every page of my funnel has that, that pixel code, okay? Um, and, and so now Facebook is able to, to know what people are doing when they're in my sales funnel. Now this is a really simple sales funnel. It's an opt-in, a thank you page, and then it sends them to an affiliate offer. So I'm going to go and I'm going to create my audience. So now I need to identify to Facebook kind of who, which people, you know, what, what actions are people taking that I actually want to target. So we're going to go back to Facebook. Um, we're going to close out of this. We're going to click our little hamburger up here again. All tools. And then there's going to be an audience in here, okay? Audiences. Ding. And we need to create an audience or a group of people that we want to target. And then we're going to tell Facebook exactly what that group of people did on our website. So we're going to click create audience. And this is a custom audience. It's custom to us, right? It's custom to our own website or funnel. Okay. And there's a bunch of ways you can do it. You can upload email addresses. You can create a list of people who visited your website or took specific actions. Boom. That's the one website traffic. Okay. Now we want to include people who meet any of the following criteria. Okay. So we're going to say not all website visitors. We want people who visited a certain page in our sales funnel. This page right here, right? Ding. We want people that visited this page right here. So I'm gonna copy and paste that. And I'm gonna put it right here. So the URL contains, meaning somewhere in the URL or somewhere in this right here, it contains, and then I can type in a word. So I'm just gonna put an opt-in in case I decide to A-B test or build other ones. Um, if it's opt-in, it pretty much means that they're on the, the first page of my funnel usually. So if the URL contains opt-in and they visited that web page in the last 30 days, okay, and then I want to further refine by excluding right here. Oh, okay. I'm going to exclude people who visited specific web pages once again. And this time I'm going to exclude people that visited my thank you page. Okay. So this is the, the people that I know filled out that contact form. And so I don't need to retarget them. I don't need to keep bugging them about getting this book because it already worked, right? They already got it. I already got their email address and um, and I know we went from there. And so I am going to highlight that. Thank you. Okay. Cause I, I'm, I'm going to change this page URL. I just realized that it's wrong. Um, but if the URL contains, thank you, then I know that they made it to my thank you page. They filled out my contact form. It's the only way they could have got there. So I don't want to target them on Facebook with an ad anymore. I don't want, I don't want them to see an ad because I already have their email address and I already have made sure that they did, um, get the free report. Okay, and then we'll click tab here, and you will name your audience. Um, we will say dot com secrets interested didn't get free report. Ah, ran out of room. Okay, then you're going to create that audience. Okay, so now we have an audience. Facebook has a group of people, um, it knows basically. Um, what these people are doing and anytime someone goes to this page and then doesn't get the report they don't fill out the email address and get to this page Facebook is gonna mark them and it's gonna add them into that audience okay so that it's gonna create this group of people now that, that have done that Oop, sorry okay we're gonna click done and then we need to create an ad, okay? And I always do really simple ads. I'm gonna show you the ad that I use for, for most things, some variation of this. You need an ad that stands out. It really doesn't need to be pretty. In fact, all my ads are really ugly, uh, but it just catches their eye. They remember what you're talking about. 
So my ads look like this. For getting something, you didn't get your free report. Um, it's still available and then I'll limit the time. You know, for 30 days before I take it down, I'm still offering it, something like that. Um, right, ugly ad, I made this in like five minutes. You can see that I'm not very good at Photoshop. There's red kind of come cutting off my finger there. Anyway, it's eye-catching and people click it um, and, and it works. And I actually learned that from a, a very prominent Facebook ad strategist. Okay, by the way, it's gonna populate your audience for a little bit right here. It's gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna create that audience. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our ads manager here using our hamburger. And that's the picture I'm using in my ad. Um, I don't teach Facebook ads in this course because I don't, that's not necessarily my forte. Um, but we would create an ad. It's gonna walk you through everything, okay? It's gonna walk you through putting in a picture. It's gonna walk you through adding text to your ad. Um, there'll be additional videos that come out later where I talk about how to build an ad in Facebook, um, but, but it's fairly easy and uh, this video is kind of getting long anyway. So you'll follow the steps there. You'll create an ad set and in your ad set, well, I guess I should show you this. Um, testing, testing actually. I'm going to switch to guided creation. You're going to want to be guided through the creation process. Okay, so this one you want to, your marketing objective is um, traffic. You want people to click it, to head back to that page, right? So campaign name test, because I'm going to delete this. Okay, and I'll kind of talk you through just really quick the settings that I do. It's going to want you to choose an audience right here. I'm going to choose that audience that we just made, okay? And that's not the one, it's somewhere, actually it hasn't populated yet, so it'll show up. Sometimes it takes 10, 20, 30 minutes. Um, so it'll put it in right there. Um, you'll want to choose a location. I choose the whole world, so I erase this because I don't care where they're at. They've already visited my page once. I already know they're kind of a, a hot or a warm lead. Okay, and that's all I do. Your audience is already created, so you can add like more details and things like that, but this is just retargeting. We already know these people. Every one of them are interested, and we want to target them, okay? If this is selected, the ad expanded interest, don't let it deselect that, okay? And then it's gonna ask you for placements. You probably wanna click edit placements and it's gonna give you different places where this ad can show up. I typically do feed, I don't do instant articles. I'll do the right column. Um, I sometimes will do Instagram. Um, on this ad, I would do Instagram because it's a really simple opt-in. And then uh, audience network, I never do. Oops, I deselect that. Messenger is pretty new and I, I haven't tested it out yet, so I currently don't do it. You're gonna set a budget. Typically, unless you're blowing a lot of money in ads, $5 a day is gonna be fine, okay? Five, 5R. Okay, and then um, you can set a start and end date. I typically don't for retargeting. We're optimized for link clicks. And then I usually bid manually on this. And the reason is, so it's saying, uh, it's guess is $2.20 per click. But I've found that I, a lot of times my ad will show up like eight or nine times on some of these people's pages when I'm, when I'm bidding that much. And I don't want it to show up eight or nine times. Like that's, who's, who's not sick of an ad after the ninth time it shows up, right? So I'll drop my bid. And what that usually means is I don't show up quite as much. Um, and I pay less when they click, okay? Um, which to me is, is much better. And this is just how I do it. I usually start at one, and if I'm not getting any impressions, then I'll, I'll go up from there. So $1 per link click, you'll continue, and then you'll go and create an ad. Okay, just a single image, that one that I showed you. You'll upload it here. You'll put in your URL here of, the, of that page you wanna send them to. We wanna send them back to our free report page, right? The page that they didn't fill out. Okay. We'll write a quick headline. I usually say, you forgot to get your free report or something like that. Um, call to action, which is a button that's going to show up on the ad. Okay, what do you want your button to say? Um, typically, uh, learn more or sign up, um, apply now. Any of those will work. Okay, and then I don't worry about any of the rest of this stuff, okay? <clears throat> any of the rest of this stuff I don't worry about. Um, one more item to note, if you don't know this, Facebook ads has a text rule where you can't have more than 20% of the ad showing text, so be careful. Um, I think I'm a tiny bit over, but they're letting it slide. Um, 
So try to stay around 20% or a little less with your text if you put text in your picture. Okay, then you click confirm and it's gonna go from there. And from now on, Facebook is gonna retarget people that have visited my page in the last 30 days, this page, but didn't visit this page, okay? So that's retargeting, super important. Any business can use it. Um, but it, it works really well with ClickFunnels. Um, and so if you don't have ClickFunnels, you should definitely get a free trial and start learning ClickFunnels, but uh, uh, to each his own. Uh, hope, I, hope, I hope you learned a lot. Please comment below with questions um, or you can reach out to me at my support at buildapreneur.com email address. Thanks so much.